If the idea of wearing a structured waistband to work right now really turns you off, I've got a solution for you. I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me. Over here, I like to share all things sewing related. That includes pattern reviews, pattern and fabric hauls, and tips and tricks on how to fit things to your body. So if that sounds like something that's right up your alley, I'm glad you're here. So today I wanted to tell you all about the Nilma Palazzo Pants by Sirena Patterns. I have been sewing patterns from Sirena for quite a while now, actually. Um, in fact, I actually made the Nilma Palazzo Pants back in October of last year. And so, you all know, recently I became a brand ambassador for them and I was super excited to have the opportunity because I really do love the patterns. Now, Sirena Patterns focuses on knits, so stuff with a lot of stretch. And when it came to this month, I just thought, I need more stretchy work pants. Now, hear me out. I've been working from home for gosh, well over a year now. And I actually had to go into the office to work on a project. And so I put on a pair of my, you know, pants with a structured waistband and woo wee, was it not comfortable? I mean, those extra work from home pounds made a difference. To fix that problem, I quickly made up another pair of Noma pants. This pant is actually described as a palazzo pant. So it has, it's pretty closely fit over the thighs and then it flares out down towards the bottom here. And it has a yoga waistband on it. Um, so there's no additional elastic or anything in here. It's just a nice stretchy waistband, super comfortable. And an extra bonus, this pattern only has three pieces, a front piece, a back piece, and that waistband piece. So they come together really quickly. When it actually comes to fabrics, you wanna make sure that you're choosing a fabric that has about 50% stretch. Um, and we're talking horizontal stretch. This fabric has the required 50% stretch going this way. Um, it doesn't really have any going vertically. But because it did have the 50% this way, I was sure that it was gonna fit. In the version that I had made last October, I used a double knit, which had really nice stretch, both horizontally and vertically. And actually, when it comes to how both of these pants fit, I really prefer the one that has a bit of vertical stretch because my badunkadunk is pretty sizable. Well, it just allows the pants to stretch over the booty area a little more nicely without having to do any kind of full seat adjustment. I still didn't do a full seat adjustment in this one. However, I did notice that the waistband comes down a little more. So if I'm making these pants without the extra vertical stretch in the future, I'll definitely add a little extra length onto that back seam so that way it kind of sits where I need it to be. So let's talk about sizing. Now, Sirena Patterns is actually going through the process of um, expanding their pattern size range. And so she started with some of the newer ones. This is an older pattern, so she hasn't quite gotten there yet. My hips fall outside of the size range for these pants. And so I did have to make a size adjustment on these of about an inch and a quarter because right now my hips are at 50. To give you an idea, the waist on this pattern runs from a 24 to a 35, and then the hips run from a 34 to a 45 inch um, size range. My hips right now are at 50 inches. And so what I did was I added an additional inch and a quarter at the hip area, grading to nothing at the waist, and at the knees um, just to give me that additional space. If you're curious about how to make this kind of pattern adjustments for yourself, I'm going to link to the video right above here where I show you how to make it. Trust me, it's a super simple fix. When I decided to make these pants, I actually went into my fabric stash and used up one of the remnants that I had already there from another make. And so I was super excited to have these and I think that it'll go well with 
a whole lot of stuff in my closet. Black tops, white tops. I mean, I could even see pairing this with a solid color up on the top. I think it's just going to go a far way in my work wardrobe, as well as just at home, because honestly, they're knit pants. They're super comfy. <laughs> um, I did do a half inch hem on these, and you all, I may have hemmed my pants just a little too short. Now see, here's the problem. I measured once and then I cut. <laughs> So shame on me. You know the you know the rule. You know what the golden rule is. Measure twice, cut once. That's totally not what I did. So these are just a tad bit shorter than what I'd like them to be. We're just gonna pretend that never happened and we're never gonna talk about it again. When it came to sewing this thing, I made it entirely on my serger. You don't need to have a serger to make these pants. You can make them on your sewing machine. And the nice thing about it is because it's all done with knits, you really don't even have to finish the edges on the inside. From start to finish, these pants took me no more than an hour to make. And I'm talking from cutting out my fabric to getting it under my machine and press and all of that good stuff. So it's a really quick make. And if you have fabric already in your stash, you can get going on it immediately and have some really nice stuff to wear out. The link to these pants are in the description box below. If you do wanna make these pants, but you feel like you're gonna need an adjustment like I did, check out this video right over here. That's gonna walk you right through it. And seriously, in no time, you're gonna be ready to go. <laughs> and until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.